Okay everyone, we're going to do the front sprocket first. First thing we're going to want to do is remove the rear tire. It's going to be a 3 fourths and a 19 millimeter wrench and socket. We're going to go ahead and release the chain from the tire. Next we will remove our first plastic. There are four Allen key bolts that hold it in. You remove those. I do not have the size on the Allen key, but just find one that fits and slips right off. Next will be the sprocket cover. That's a 5 16 socket. There are two bolts holding that in. Remove those, and the cover will slide right off. Now that your sprocket is accessible, the first thing you'll do is bend the metal locking tabs that are pressed against the 10 millimeter bolts. They're very soft, so be careful with them. Once you've done that, remove both 10 millimeter bolts from your sprocket. Now I'll try to keep the plates in the order that they came off. I'll show you a little later uh, what specific order they go in, but try to keep them together. It just helps the process go smoother down the road. These are the two plates that will go on in a certain order. Now remove your chain from the sprocket. Now we will fit the new super light front sprocket on. Your old will slide right off. The new will slide on and there's a groove here. You want to press the new sprocket onto the shaft and then rest the face right where that groove is. It's where your first key spacer is going to go. You'll put the first key spacer into the groove and then you will spin the key spacer to line up with your screw holes. Your second will go on. There's no spinning. It will press straight on and line up. Then your outer plate and your locking plate. Fit your first screw in. You might have to put a little pressure on the back of the sprocket to keep it pressed. And you're going to want to tighten those up going back and forth, not wrenching down too hard. Once you've gotten those tightened down to where you need, you're going to want to bend these metal plates back up against the bolts. You just take a pair of pliers. But again, be careful. There's very soft metal. It's easy to mess them up. Once you've done that, you will fit your chain back on. We'll slide over like so. And then we will move back to our plastics. We are almost there, guys. So you'll refit your sprocket cover. You will refit your plastic, the four Allen key bolts. Just tighten these up. Don't over tighten either one of these parts. Just nice and snug. Then we will move back to the rear tire. Set our rear tire. Adjust our chain properly. And that's it guys. We have changed our front sprocket. Thanks for watching. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is remove your rear tire. It is a 3 fourths and a 19 millimeter. Okay, so I like to keep the tire upright to break the nuts on the bolts. It just gives you a little more leverage. Once you do so, you will lay it over sideways and fully remove all the nuts from the studs. Slide your old sprocket off, like so. Your new will fit right back into its space. Pressing it flush, you can go ahead and put your nuts back on your studs. Fit those all on. This really is a simple job, guys. One of the easiest, quickest things you can do to get some uh, performance differences out of your bike. 
Now you always want to make sure you tighten these down diagonally. So you start with one, you tighten the one directly across from it, and vice versa. You just keep working them back and forth. You want to go ahead and after you do that with it laid down, you want to push it back up, upright, give them a good tighten, make sure they're all nice and tight. Then we'll go back to refit our tire, adjust our chain properly, tighten it down, and that's it guys. You've just changed a rear sprocket. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you all on the next one.